Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakatash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, I want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word in the truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. My brother Carl from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And, you know, I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Just a little quick, quick, you know what I'm saying? A little comment, you know, that I want to make. You know what I'm saying? I was, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with a news break, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? That out. I have that out. And, I just seen this article that came up on the app a few moments ago. I got a notification and it, it, it was quite interesting, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, as y'all can see the title, we got Hawks Ford accuses Beyonce of promoting Satan. And that ain't the reason why I'm doing it. It's something, uh, you know what I'm saying? This, and, 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 and this is right here is based off this NBA player, AJ Griffin. All right. You know what I'm saying? NBA player. If I ain't mistaken, I, I think he still played for the Atlanta Hawks, man. I, I, to be honest with you, um, I ain't never even heard of AJ Griffin, man, until I came across this article, man. So uh he might he probably you know, he ain't no damn all star. He ain't <laughs> he ain't one of the, the faces of the NBA. We'll say that much, man. I ain't I, my first time hearing AJ Griffin. But um it's it's something that he put up a post, man. He put up a post. Of course, you know, this man, everybody know about Beyonce, you know, you know, she everybody knows she ain't nothing but a witch, a Satan worshiper. You know what I'm saying? That that ain't no fucking breaking news right there. But uh, let's read this article right here, man. Like I said, it's going to be quick, man. Let's read this article right here. It's something A.J. Griffin, some A.J. Griffin, he uh, a post that he put out there that caught my attention, man. And I was like, you know what? I know A.J. Griffin, he watching Great Millstone, man. <laughs> I tell you, man, well, will y'all be these damn niggas out there outside of Great Millstone, they be hating. And you got so many comments. Oh man, they great miss on Everybody be watching. Everybody be watching him, man. Which they do. Which they do. All right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know about the Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites, man. All right. At, at, at this moment. But something that, you know what I'm saying, he put in his post, which I'm going to get to. Something that he put in his post. The way only Great Millstone be pushing, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? That we pushing. All right. And Great Millstone only one pushing 100% truth. All right. But. Without further ado, man, let me just get to it. It says A.J. Griffin uh, played for the Blue Devils in college. Now he's warning concert goers about the devil on social media. Um, You know what I'm saying? Pertaining to a uh, Beyonce concert. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, man, we're going to um, continue on. It says, in a sense, deleted post, the Hawks second year forward wrote, if you call yourself a follower of... Mashiach, all right, we already see what the word there, but we're going to say Mashiach, all right, name's Yahweh You shouldn't be going to any Beyonce concerts or any concerts that promote Satan, Ephesians 5 and 11. So, you know, you're putting the scriptures up, okay? It says Beyonce, and matter of fact, matter of fact, let's get it, let's get Ephesians 5 and 11, you know what I'm saying? He, he quoted, let's get Ephesians 5 and 11, man, okay? For edification's sake here. Ephesians 5 and 11 and it says and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them and that's talking that going into the prophets and men of the Lord man you know AJ Griffin man you know what I'm saying you know hey I want to see what you're gonna do man you know when this currency change man digital currency man I want to see what the hell you gonna do you still gonna want to get that NBA money or you gonna give all that shit up and be like nah I ain't taking that goddamn um um, you know what I'm saying? That Karagma, man. You know what I'm saying? So the hell, the hell with you, Esau, and the hell with this NBA contract. I'm not taking we're we gonna see what decision you made, man. You see quoting scriptures now. It's cool now. It's cool now, but we we we'll see when the hour of temptation come, man. You still have that same energy, man. You know, I hope you do. I hey, I hope you do. But anyway, Ephesians five and eleven, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's what we're supposed to do, men of the Lord, man. It's prophets, man. Supposed to give that warning to Israel, all right? You know about these false prophets, man. About worshiping the idols, you know what I'm saying, and gods of the other heathen nations. At the end of the day, not to be, you can't, you can't, you can't sit with, you can't sit at the table of Satan, all right, and then call yourself a believer. Of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. No, it don't work that way. You can't serve the Lord and, and sit at the table of Satan. You can't do that, man. All right, you know, you, hey, you know what I'm saying. You can't be double-minded, man. 
All right. You got to be, you know what I'm saying? You got to be full confidence, man, in the words of Yahweh about your mouth shot. And you got to be 100 percent all in at the end of the day, bro. Ain't no such thing as a halfway profit, man. All right. Just putting that out there. But uh, let's get back into this article here. It says um, Beyonce is set to perform three shows in four nights in Atlanta this weekend as part of her Renaissance tour. But Satan might be disappointed to learn that she's not performing on Sunday. The biblical passage uh, Griffin cited reads and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Clearly, he considers the work of the 32 time Grammy Award winner to be unfruitful works of darkness. But it's not clear if that's specific to Miss Knowles or rather Griffin think all pop concerts are the works of the devil. Most of Griffin posts on X formerly Twitter are Bible verses occasionally used to promote the evangelical film Sound of Freedom. All right. And let's continue on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Now we get to the point that caught my attention. When Griffin had posted this comment here. It says Griffin has also seemingly quoted the book of Revelation to warn about the rise of credit cards and cryptocurrency, citing a passage about how people could not buy or sell unless they had the mark of the beast. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't tell me AJ Griffin ain't watching Great Millstone. Hey, man, Great Millstone, we the only start with the Elder Apostles to the Elder Bishops on down us of Great Millstone, man. We the only group that is consistently, consistently, man, is bringing out, you know what I'm saying, the Karagma, man, which is the mark of the beast, which is one of the major end time prophecies that have, that have to take place before the return of Yahweh Shah, man. All right, you know? Um... Uh, let's finish up last part. I said you could not buy or sell unless they had a mark of the beast. And look, hey, look, look at this post, man. Look at look at AJ Griffin post, man. All right, he posted that what? You know what I'm saying what? Seven o three, August the tenth, twenty twenty three. All right, it's recent right here. It says we are headed towards a cashless society. Revelation thirteen sixteen through eighteen. Come on, well, who 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 um AJ Griffin watching, man? Like, damn, she ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't watching no damn I-S-U-P-K-I-U-I-C, man. That man's great millstone at the end of the day, man. We the only one consistently pushing the word and pushing this truth, man. 100% word and 100% truth of y'all about your mouth shot, man. All right? You know? And then, you know, you know, you go further down. He told me he also warned that the rapture is Im is imminent. But, you know, that that's Jake just going off right there, man. All right? He ain't no prophet. <laughs> he ain't no man of the Lord. All right? Because he ain't doing the work at the end of the day until further notice. All right? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he going off on that damn rapture now. All right? He, you know, that, that's Jake, boy. You know, Jake be, they be on point. You know what I'm saying? They'll start off being on point, and they just... You know what I'm saying? Jake just run off the damn road, man. <laughs> you know, A.J. Griffin ran off the damn fucking road on that one. But he was straight on point, you know what I'm saying, with this Revelation 13 and 16, man. All right, and 17, man. Showing you, we here, man. We we here, man. And let, let's get to it, man. Says A.J. Griffin, and this is an NBA player, all right? This is an NBA player, too, as well. Now, it's an NBA player, all right? And he's telling you what the mark of the beast is. He know that much. He he may don't know the name of your Bashi Mehawa Shah, all right, you know? He may don't know he a Hebrew Israelite, okay? All right, you know, be you know he be watching. He probably said, "Oh, the Hebrew Israelites right there." He may don't associate himself being a Hebrew Israelite. We don't know, all right? You know what I'm saying? But one thing he do know, he know what is the mark of the beast, man. You know what I'm saying? He know he know what that word mark goes back to. He know it's about to be a cashless society, man. All right, you know he know more than a lot of Jake and the circumcision, man. All right, and we gonna get it. We gonna get Revelation 13 and 16. If y'all tired of us bringing it out. Hey, like the elders apostles say, man, you tired of us being repetitive, being redundant and going into some of the, the, the you know, what I'm saying, the, you know, what I'm saying the main prophecies, scriptures. All right. They got to take place. If you tired of hearing that being bought out. Hey, man, change the channel, man. This, hey, this ain't for you. <laughs> this ain't for you at the end of the day, man. All right. Uh, this right here, Revelation 13 and 16, man. All right. It says. And he calls him, and then he is, is we, which we know is Esau. And we coming into that time, the, the the mark of the beast. We already know the technology is already here. You have certain people already done done done, done been implanted with the Karag, all right. But Esau hasn't made it a law the way he mandate. You know what I'm saying? The way if you don't have it, 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? You, that's a crime and you going to jail. All right. You're going to the concentration camps and, it, and you're going to be punished by the guillotine, man. All right. <laughs> you know, so we ain't in that time. We, you know what I'm saying? We come into it. We ain't up but a couple of seconds away, man. We ain't up but a couple of seconds away. All right. You know, that's the time we coming in. And then and, and we're supposed to be prophesying and giving warning to Israel not to take the Quran. Ultimately, we know the elect is not going to take it, but two thirds of our people are going to take it. OK, and they're going to be destroyed, too, pursuant to the judgment in which we're going to read that as well, too. In Revelation, the fourth, in Revelation 14, 9 and 10. Uh, finishing back up verse 16 and he calls of all both small and great and they're talking about the super elite Esau super elite Rothschilds on down all right those are rulers okay they, they're sitting in the, the ruler's seat as of right now okay they ain't got a couple of seconds left to the kingdom but nonetheless all right they a hey, hey, Yahweh Shemar Vashai is using them on left hand side to usher in his mark actually this is the mark of Yahweh Shemar Vashai so let me get that let me say that correctly all right but finishing up verse 16 and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads why 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 are they gonna get that mark you know what i'm saying what the reason for them to have that mark verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark see so they tell you right there it gotta be something physical because you can't buy sell you can't make transaction i mean transactions all right unless you got that mark man all right you know so if you ain't got that mark Hey, man, you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell. So the elect in that day and that time, all right, you know what I'm saying? The elect, 100% faith is gonna be in your how about your mouth shot to provide for us, man, to provide our needs in that time, okay? All right, that's where your faith is gonna be shown. That, hey, you gonna, you gonna trust in your how about your mouth shot or you gonna trust in Egypt, man? You trust in fucking Egypt, you trust in fucking Esau and this stupid ass technology, then guess what, man? You're gonna be destroyed, man. All right. You're gonna be destroyed. When you how about your when you how shall return, all right, you're gonna be destroyed ultimately at the end of the day, man. Okay. Um finishing up, man. That and that and that's what we warning you, all right? And continue on to warn you, man. All right. Uh verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, man. And like we always do, we go into the blue letter, all right. All right, grabbing up Revelation 13. Let's look up that word mark for edification's sake, even though we already know what it is, but it can be somebody watching for the first time. All right, and what we supposed to be doing? Edifying, man. All right, you know, for those that can get it, you know, eyes open up. Hey, they're going to get it. For those who can't, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, they're going to get the judgment from you. How about your mouth shot? But nonetheless, hey, you being warned, though. Simple as that. All right, that's Strong's 54 and 80. All right, Karagma. All right. And we and we jumping down to next to the last definition. Okay, and it says stain carved. All right, and you carving something, what is that? That's a cutting, man. All right, sculpture, graven work. So in order to carve something, you know what I'm saying? And they have to implant that in you because you can't buy a cell. It's either your right hand or your forehead or whatever they implanted that in your dang on body. You know what I'm saying? You know, nonetheless, you know, it had to be something physical. Had to be something physical. All right. Ain't no sin. You know, you got niggas talking about the mark is sin. No. Now, if you take the mark and you get that mark, is that sin? Yes. But the the word mark itself, is it sin? No. All right. Cause you got uh, Nate Satan out there and and, uh, and, and, and others that are teaching that and they're going off and that's wrong. So that mark is something physical. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I say, man, they got so much research on it. You can Google. All right. You know what I'm saying? Where you have people that actually... You know what I'm saying? Already have the implant. They they recorded that, man, of them getting implant with that that mark. All right. And you, you can see it for yourself, man. Showing you something physical, man. Something small as a grain of rice, man. All right. They're looking to implant in your right hand or your forehead or whatever. All right. In your body, man. Okay. Um, let's get let's get the judgment. So we don't look up that word mark so we know it's something physical. All right. You can't buy sell unless you have that mark. Okay. And if you have and if you take that mark. If you're a Hebrew Israelite, hey, man, it's going to be death unto you, man. All right. Because your lack of faith in your how about your mouth was shot. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. All right. 
Verse 10 in the judgment, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, which is his righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels going into the nuclear missiles, man. 200 million missiles, man. That Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, going to have you niggas remaining for a certain point of time. All right. For you taking that goddamn um, mark, man. All right. That's that lake of fire. OK, and this is and in the presence of the lamb, man. OK, so so uh, Yahweh Shai, the angels and the elect. Hey, hey we're going to be able to see the downfall and destruction. We're hey, we going to see that hellfire, man. All right. We're going to see two thirds and you damn heathens burning up therein, man, at the end of the day, man. All right. You know. OK, so hey, that's the seriousness of, of not taking the goddamn Karagma at the end of the damn day, man. Having your faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. You know. Because the Most High is going to make a way for us at the end of the day. And let me leave by bringing the scripture right here out. Just to, you know what I'm saying? The, you know, uh, <coughs> the applied balance to show you, man. Having your faith in your heart about the Most High, he's going to take care of us in that day and that time, man. All right? So you ain't got to worry about no fucking Esau. His tech, fuck Esau and his technology, man. All right? If your heart about tell you not to take the mark, all right? You know what I'm saying? You don't think he made a, he made a way to provide for you? Okay? Show you, man. You got to have faith, man. You ain't got no faith. You ain't going to be able to make it, man. Period, bro. All right. This right here, uh, Second Edge is 16, verse uh, 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Behold, the days of trouble, and them days of trouble, talking about Jacob's trouble, man, are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. See? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said, I will deliver you from the same. See that when your faith got to lie at. 100% faith can't have no doubt, man. Can't have no fucking doubt in your mind, bro. You got to believe the words Yahweh Shem Al-Vashah said. Yahweh Shem al is a power that shall not lie, man. Okay? So that's where our faith is going to lie at, man. That way we ain't worried about no Esau in, in, in this technology, the, the Krog, man. We ain't worried about how we going to eat, man. How we, where we gonna, what roof we going to have over our head, man. Fuck all that, man. Yahweh Shem going to take care of our needs, man. That's small for Yahweh Shem Al-Vashah right there, man. That's light. That's light, man. Okay? We got to remember, that's light shit right there, bro. Okay, verse 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. See, you can't doubt. For Yahabash Mawasha is your God at the end of the day. Yahabash Mawasha gonna guide us, man. All right, so we ain't got no worries, man. All right, only have our faith and our trust in Yahabash Mawasha, man. All right, and remain faithful and true to Yahabash Mawasha. All right, and trust in the words of Yahabash Mawasha, man. And everything else is gonna take care of itself. All right, okay, and with that. I pray and I hope that this listen was edifying. With that, I want to say shalom, shalom, total full leg, shalom.